anti-personnel mines. Nice. Hey guys, Beaver here. Today we're taking a trip out to the Compound, a new field in Ontario built entirely by the Airsoft community members and their passion for the game. And luckily for us, they're opening up the doors to the MagFed paintball community as well. Located just outside of Kinmount, Ontario, this field is only about two hours from the 401 and the DVP, so it's not too far out of the heart of the GTA. This field features a massive amount of parking and camping space, so if you're coming, you can plan to stay for the weekend. They got free firewood for all the attendees, but they specifically ask that you do not bring your own firewood. They do not want the emerald ash borers here destroying the whole forest and killing the field. On my visit today, I was given a tour by the owner of the field, Michael, and even though the field was covered in snow and ice, you could still see all the buildings, the roads, the bunkers, the trenches, and everything else they built up so far. I'll definitely be making a second trip out to do another tour video for you guys in the spring once all the snow and ice is gone. But the field itself is around 200 acres of play space featuring full-size roads and trails to navigate throughout. Today we'll be touring through the border town, big tree fuel depot, Shady Acres trailer park, the minefield, the trenches. They got two command posts, but I'm told after we were done filming today, they have built a third one. They got some radio towers. It's just crazy. So let's jump into it. The parking and camping area is huge. I grabbed this shot from Google Maps, which we all know, of course, is not up to date, as you'll see in the videos, but I wanted to give you guys the measurements of how big the camping area actually is for us, and they're planning to extend it further. The field is large enough for us to host a thousand players easily, so it was great to see that the staging and camping area was built up enough to also hold those players fire pits set up all over the place for wherever you want to park your trailer or set up your tent have a fire they have free firewood for all attendees so again do not bring your own firewood we do not want to bring the emerald ash here because it'll kill the entire forest and ruin the field uh, it's tough to see the fire pits in that right now because of all the snow but i'm going to be sure to cover that on my next walk border town currently features the most buildings with more and more being added every town currently has 17 full-scale buildings, four of which are massive. All of the buildings, as you can see, feature real layouts. They're not just boxes thrown together. There's rooms to clear. You can see it in the video. They have pre-built more walls because they're expanding this further and adding more buildings. And I'm told they're putting in a two-story church building uh, at the end of the field to add a new tactical dynamic to the area. It has trenches surrounding the town for defenses or assaults bunkers throughout the surrounding forest, gates along the road leading in and out for millstem style scenarios or to shut down the roads at different times during the day. They dug out bunkers big enough to fit an entire squad inside of. So we got a bunch more building walls that are going up here. We're gonna be building some more CTs. You look to your left. There's a oh, full nice. trench. Goes, so this whole part of the field for a thousand feet, all the way down is called the front lines. So we took some explosives, blew up a bunch of It looks like mortar strikes everywhere. There's, those woods are all cleaned up. There's bunkers all through the woods. Nice. Uh, there's a main road here and a road that goes in behind as well. There's your HPA fill station, 3,004, or three and 4,500 right on the field. That way your guys don't need to walk to camp, right? Yeah. And you got casino from Siege. Now, it's not just... It's not just a square. Building. Right? So you got your entry, then you got a back bedroom back here. You know, with a window, like it's it's realistic because we have the police here all the time, right? Nice. Yeah. So it's not just, you know, four walls. Yeah, it's actually playable. You got bunkers everywhere, like, dug out. This is the construction site. There's another huge bunker over there. 
Uh, so yeah, and there's street lights all through the town. So you can which, actually play at night. Most can control with the remote control. So nice. if you have something like there's power box, see that green power box over there? Mm -hmm. We have bombs, so if you blow that up, it'll kill all the lights. Right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, another side road that goes throughout here, so there's just ways throughout everywhere. Is there anything back there, or is that? Oh just yeah, man. No, we'll bunker. Dude, I got a gas, a fuel depot. There's bunkers. There's a uh, trailer park. This is Rusty's Gun and Pond. So this is a huge building, basically a gun store, right? Yeah. And then you got three bedrooms, and the bathroom the right here. Back door off to the deck. Everything's built real, right? And then just another front bedroom here. Windows you can crawl through. Nice. Bank machine, full mount on the, the wall. There's a whole section back here. These all green up this frame. Mm -hmm. Got this little area here, and this is kind of like a little eatery when it's done. But it'll be fun to keep eat, right? This is the last of the donations. That'll all be cleaned up by the time people start playing here. Another full road that accesses that whole side. This is more bush ball. Okay. There'll be one CP, a 16 by 16 building. Uh, just a separate. There's already two military bases built on oh, the property. There. This is going to be a big two-story church right here. Nice. So it's going to be on its own, right? So that should be done uh, May. The field depot is currently a smaller field, but with big plans to expand this area, adding more cars, a billboard, and some more fuel drums, this area also features gates on the road so it can be controlled or shut down whenever your scenario calls for it. Access to the town on the other side. This is just where, in like my games, you physically have to come here and get fuel for your vehicles, right? Yeah. This is all cool. playback here. Like a little store, because we do a lot of MPC, like everything's real for us. Command Post 1 features a 16 by 16 structure to set up your tables, maps, gear, etc. and trench out front for defense. There's also a large enough cleared space to set up a bunch of 10 by 10 pop-up tents for larger scenarios. Each command post will be provided with a porta potty and a generator to help keep players on the field for as long as possible. So if you do make them uh, like not attackable, then you can actually function from here. Yeah. Our events, each control base will have a porta potty right on site. Oh, beautiful. And a generator. Warrior commanders will do their thing, right? The Shady Acres Trailer Park currently only features a couple trailers, but we'll be getting a big work over once spring hits. They've already acquired more trailers to bring in, and they're just waiting for the ice to clear out to get them down and placed. A trailer there, a trailer there, a trailer there, a trailer there, a trailer there. It's like you're coming into a campground. Yeah. And then you got the street light in the middle. That way, because I, for me and my guys, we're all not as thermaled up, right? Yeah. We want to even the playing field for the guys that don't have that. So we put lights everywhere. There'll be four of these uh, stops all the way around the field. Minefield is there is to stop that CP from attacking this CP through the forest. Has to go. So it forces road. the fight here or way deep one section. In this, right now I pulled them all out, but there's anti-personnel mines. Nice. So basically it's buried in the ground. You step on it as a CO2 cartridge and a white cloud of uh, flour or non-permanent <laughs> chocolate hit yeah. you and you're dead. Or you can step on it, it'll click. If you have one of your buddies nearby with a, a multi-tool, they can disarm it and then walk by. So that'll be riddled with mines. That's sick. Command Post 2 will have all the same features as Command Post 1. So 
this is uh, the other military base on the right. This is where the other team will start. Pretty far away, eh? Yeah. It's not like you're just going to raid. Yeah, you like <laughs> a vehicle would be would be helpful. Yeah, the last honey badger that Adam put on was the first time I got to play with vehicles. We have a, quite a few vehicles in the community. But enough room for a bunch of 10 by 10s around here too, right? Yeah, that's perfect. And there'll be a porta potty on each, and each CP has a flagpole. Because in our games, you're supposed to steal the flag, right? But it's built the exact same as the other one. That way there's no thing from teams. And this CP is the exact same distance to the town as, that one. as the other one. Perfect. I built it perfectly like that. Oh. It's really a little go-kart track. This is like just another little subtown. We're gonna build a couple more buildings. And these are from PRZ, so I'm gonna just make them as fencing. Nice. So you got the main road there. This building, this little building, this little building. We got some old go-karts coming here. And we're gonna come up to where I was telling you was the front lines. It's all blown up. The front lines is a simulated bombed out town featuring a huge amount of crater bunkers, buildings with partial walls, and a huge trench system that leads us right back to border town. This area also has plans for more buildings, a wider road, and more trenches. Designed to drive your vehicle right in there. Oh, and stop and get out. Yeah. Nice. And that's the main road that goes right back to. That way you don't have to go all the way around, you can just you can beeline it right through, right? Yeah, there's a direct shot of that comps tower back there. With the satellites and everything, try to keep it real. Over top on the left here. This whole thing is just simulated, not blown up. Gotta get all, all that metal by my trailer going along the walls. You gotta watch the middle of the woods because this is where everyone's gonna hang <laughs> This is getting widened. We're gonna make it so you can drive through here so you have two different ways through. Got another trench system coming up on the left. Big bunker, big old dirty machine gun now. Yeah. Oh, there's a big trench goes into the woods. Starts here, goes all the way down into the ridge over there. You know, there's big old. Yeah, that's meant. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so fun. No one's played this part of the field yet. Oh man. I just built it. Literally not even a month old. <laughs> Got another entrance to a trench to fight against the town. Where the bridge goes over top, so this goes this way, that way. Then we go all the way that way. a big one.
the entry. Enter right back in the town. The big ass circle. There's a bunch of uh, tire bunkers in the middle of the field, like as you go through. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's. It's buried right now. Yeah. <laughs> It's huge, and then like you got 39 other wall sections going up in different places, right? So we're not gonna stop. <sighs> The War Wagon is only one of a few different vehicles that you can actually rent to use on the field in your scenarios. The War Wagon can hold two guys in the front and four in the back and one in the crow's nest on top. Compound is definitely a must-hit field in Ontario. I know personally, I'm already planning at least one event there.